Everything's so complicated. If it was 30 years ago, I could just move away and join a convent. Those outfits are so hideous. <laughs> you know, if you want my advice, and I don't suppose you do, but I'm going to give it to you anyway, I think you have to go and talk to Charlie. About what? You have to tell her the truth. I can't do that. Yes, you can. I can't. Yes, you can. I mean, for all you know, she might feel the same way about you. Well, her name is Charlie. I've got a shot. But you won't know that until you talk to her. What if I made the whole thing up in my head? What if she doesn't even remember the kiss? What if you go through your entire life saying, what if? Well, what happens if she does feel the same way? What about Sam? He'll never talk to me again. He doesn't talk to you now. Well, that's just because he hates me. And do you foresee that ever changing? He can't hate me forever. Mm-hmm. Just drink your tea. This is so good. Are you sure this is just tea, nutmeg, and honey? It's a wee bit of whiskey. <sighs> Show some shortbread. Mmm. What kind of shortbread is this? Mm, short. <laughs> God, they're so beautiful and magical and peaceful. Will they have babies here? I don't think so. That's Lucy, and she's Ethel. They're an item. Mm-hmm. Never spend a moment apart. It's very common. I'm actually doing a study on homosexuality among mammals. You are? I'm concentrating on whales, but did you know that over 50% of elephants are gay? How do they test that? They pipe in the village people over loudspeakers and watch their feet. <sighs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so where have you been hiding? I've left three messages and no answer, and Sam won't say a word. I'm sorry, I've just been a little preoccupied. Anything you want to talk about? Do you remember that night we spent together in Las Vegas before you got married to Sam? Barely. I mean, I remember having a great time, but I think you got me too drunk to remember anything else. <laughs> Why did I say something really stupid? It's not what you said. God, what did I do? I don't know if you did anything. It might have just been me. Oh, my God, I remember. You do? Yes. I'm such an idiot. No, you're not. How could you let your brother marry me? I didn't even know if you were conscious of what was going on. Of course I was conscious. I'm so embarrassed. Oh, don't be. I'm so relieved we're talking about it. Was I completely off key? What? I sounded like a cat in heat, didn't I? Is that what you think we're talking about? Oh, God, did I do something else? No, that was it. Are you sure? Yeah. Tell the truth. Did you try to convince Sam not to marry me? There was no convincing him. Trust me, if I could have, I would have. <laughs> you know, every morning, I wake up before Sam does, and I just watch him. I just lie there and stare. And I love the way his nose wrinkles when he's dreaming, and the little purring sound that he makes when he's about to wake up, and the way that he keeps his hand on my thigh the whole night just to let me know that he's there. And I know it may seem crazy, but love is crazy, isn't it? It sure is. <laughs> going on between the two of you, but you have to work it out, Sam. Just talk to her. Just stop 
You want to see me? Oh, yeah, great. Seems Julia wasn't thrilled with the way our last presentation went. Why don't you go ahead and fire me? Because I don't need to be embarrassed or humiliated or patronized anymore. Well, actually, I was going to give you a promotion, but on second thought... What? I asked Jordan to make you the executive creative director on my account and to give you free reign to do whatever you want. Carrie told me that the cheerleader idea was yours. I think you have great ideas. You just haven't been given the freedom to explore them fully. I like your energy, your spunk, your candidness, and I think with the right support, you're going to give me exactly what I'm looking for. Wow. I don't know what to say. Sorry to interrupt, Gray, but your 12 o'clock meeting with Brother Electronics is in the small conference room. Oh, I don't have a 12 o'clock meeting with Brother Electronics. They said they confirmed it with your office. Please, go ahead. I don't want to hold you up. Thank you so much. You will not be sorry. Thank you, Mr. Phillips. I will not let you down. Isn't she adorable? <laughs> Hi, sorry I'm late. I didn't have you in my book. Hey. <sighs> so you forgot your toothbrush? And I figured a toothbrush that is part hard, part soft bristles it must be hard to come by. Is that all you just came to give me my toothbrush? And to say I'm sorry. I, I overreacted. A little bit. Not a lot. A little bit. You know, after all, you have to admit it's a, it's a pretty <laughs> exceptional situation, right? <gasps> On the other hand, I'm not quite sure why I acted so surprised, because if you think about it, Almost inevitable that you and I would end up liking the same girl, isn't it? You're acting... You're acting very rational. It's too rational. I used to do this when we were kids, and I turn around, you tackle me to the ground. I think I should be getting my knees in the lockdown position. You're great. Gray, you know, you're not just my sister. You're my best friend. You know that, right? Being without you, I feel like one half of me is missing. Lately, I've been feeling very lopsided. Sam. You know, just because you're totally gay and in love with my wife doesn't mean we can't work things out. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ooh, now this is good! I knew it wasn't me! I knew it wasn't me! Great! Great! How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Nothing to see here, folks. Put your eyes on your head! Elevator. I never no. want to see another human being ever great, again. Great, great. Listen to me. This is not as bad. Look, it's not as bad. Who cares what those people think? I care. They're probably calling Jerry Springer right now as we speak. No, no, they're not. I, I don't think he has a show anymore. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? For having to be related to me. Great, don't be ridiculous. Oh, I just feel... Ugh, ugh. Great. Look, you're just, you're just coming out, okay? I'm never this coming is, out of this elevator. This is probably... The, the biggest revelation of your entire of your entire life. It's normal to be going nuts. It's normal. I don't feel normal. I'm sick and tired of everyone saying it's normal, it's typical, it's ordinary. I don't feel any of those things. Well, how do you feel? Lonely. Why? Because I'm never going to be able to walk down the street holding hands with my partner without the rest of the world giving us a look. I may never have a wedding that I once dreamed of, and I may never have children. And one day, when I die, people will never give as much respect to my grieving lover as if she were my husband. Gray, it's not as if you made a choice. That's what terrifies me. It's so much easier to be someone else. Do you remember when you were kids? You would have been about six and dad came home to tell mom he was leaving her for Mrs. Rosemont. 